What's popping, gang? Today I'm going to be reviewing the Neumann U87 against the TLN 103 and give you some fun facts. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about more videos like this. Shout out to Z Sounds. If you want to pick up any of these microphones, there's a link in the description. They have a lot of affordable plans to get you expensive gear. All right, gang. So I'm just going to do a voiceover test with both of these microphones. I only have one stand right now, so you know I'm just going to hold it. My, my arm is already getting tired. When you're looking for a microphone, there are are basically four important things you got to understand the build quality the sound quality the price and who are they for first let's talk about the build quality both of these microphones are basically built with somewhat the same materials they feel the same the, of course the TLM 103 is a lot lighter than the U87 both of these microphones have the exact same capsule but the U87 has two of these capsules. The TLM 103 only has one. The TLM 103 also is a transformerless microphone versus the U87 having a transformer inside of it. The reason Neumann made a transformerless microphone because at the time, a lot of people were using transformer microphones and inside of their studio equipment, a lot of that stuff had transformers in it. So a lot of people just wanted something different. They felt like transformers were making their music sound worse. So at the time, transformerless microphones became very popular, which is why Norman decided to release their TLM 103 series and made the Norman TLM 103. Right now, I have both of these microphones plugged directly into my Apollo Twin X using the Neumann 1073 Unison plugin. And let me know how you think it sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and plug both of these into the hardware and then come right back. And at the bottom, I'm just going to show you which microphone I'm using at the time. Make sure you guys check out themusicgain.com. My website has free downloads like loop kits, mini kits, and beat templates. Also, recording templates to give you high quality music in a short amount of time. Winter is coming, so grab yourself a hoodie to show off your pride for your talent. Did you notice a difference? Now, what is the purpose for both of these microphones? Back in the day, Norman received a lot of great feedback from the U67 that they had, which is a tube microphone. It pretty much looks similar to the U87. Norman decided to release a different version of the U67 without a tube, a more solid state version, which is the U87, this microphone here. A lot of people like this microphone, but back in the day, like I said, a lot of people had high-end studio gear, which had transformers in it. Real quick, gang, go ahead and hit that like button, man. It helps out. Why not, man? Now, what is the difference between a transformerless microphone and a microphone with a transformer in it? Basically, with the transformer microphone, you, you tend to get a little bit more color versus the transformer list microphone and also with the transformer list microphone you get less distortion with transformer list microphones they actually have extended range of frequencies more than the transformer microphone and transformer microphones can often give the impression that they have a little bit more bottom and top end than they actually do and that is very true in this case i've noticed with the tnl 103 you know it has a little bit more extended range in the top end some people might say it's more harsh and stuff like that but really it's just a more modern sound that Norman was trying to give to people. Now, when you get a U87, you might think it's a little bit more dull because it's not as bright as the TLM 103. And what I've experienced with the Norman U87, I feel like it has more polished low end. And you can see that with these frequency responses that I'm showing you on the screen. Now, what I've noticed with the TLM 103 and its extended range, it doesn't take plosives very well there have been times where i had a pop filter on this microphone at a great distance and it still gets those plosives extremely harshly sometimes i gotta retake some of those takes because of the plosives and i'm one of those guys when i say my p's and my b's and sometimes even the s's it gets into the capsule extremely easily now when i'm recording with both of these microphones i do notice that with the tnl 103 you do get less of the room noise versus the u87 and i'm not sure if it's because the u87 has two capsules in it and maybe the capsule in the back is like you know turning on here and there or, or something like that i'm not sure i don't know even though the u87 is not in like the omni mode or the figure eight mode I still feel like the U87 just picks up a lot more room noise than the TLM 103. And I've had experiences with the TLM 103 in like crazy recording situations like in the living room, no acoustic treatment. And I just put on like one of these pop filters like the, I forgot the name of this thing, the Altron F8 or something like that. I can't remember the name, but I put that on this TLM 103 and I get literally no room noise. You can also use that with the U87, but, I, but you're still gonna get a little bit more room noise. The TLM 103 is a lot more quieter than the U87. And again, I think that is because the U87 has two capsules in it. What I also noticed with recording with both of these microphones, the U87 
comes in a little bit more hotter and I think it's because of that transformer. And real quick, back on distortion, you know, with the TL-103, it does have less distortion than the U87. And with transformer microphones, you have to understand that when you're dealing with distortion, the U87 can actually rise up to the distortion a lot faster than the TL-103. If you're getting help so far, go ahead and hit the like button, it helps out. Now let's talk about the price. Now the TLM-103, you could probably get this brand new for about $1,200 versus the U87 gonna cost you around $4,000. Like I said before, transformerless microphones gained popularity back in like the 80s or the 90s because of less transformers in their recording process and also because it's cheaper. A lot of the price from the U87 kinda comes from the transformers inside and you would think that as time goes on, you know, prices will come down for materials, but that's not the case for transformers, which is why this this microphone costs a lot more is because it has transformers inside and a couple more capsules than the TLM-103. Now who are these microphones for? Now in my personal experience and using both of these microphones for mixing and recording and stuff like that, I do feel like the TLM-103 is still a great microphone. I feel like that if you're recording at home or something like that and you don't have the greatest treatment in your room and you're on a budget. I still feel like you should get the TNL-103. It's a really great microphone and it helps you get that modern sound that you might be looking for. It is a brighter microphone because of that extended range of it being a transformer-less microphone. Maybe you wanna record drums and stuff like that. Transformer-less microphones get less distortion. Now with the U87, I'm not sure if I could recommend this microphone as a home studio microphone unless you have a well-treated room. This microphone can pick up a lot of the room noises and it will expose the fact that you need acoustic treatment. I've seen a lot of famous people use the U87 in like crazy untreated rooms and conditions and stuff like that. And I'm starting to think that's cat. Or maybe like the mixing engineer is not using a lot of compression or something like that. I'm not sure how they're doing it. I just don't believe that you can use a U87 in a very noisy room for vocals. Personally, I think both of these are really great microphones. If you're gonna record hip hop, pop, or rock, I recommend getting the U87 because of the more warm sound that you get. I feel like the tops and the bottoms of the U87 are just polished. And I do feel like they both sound very similar but the U87 sounds more polished and stuff like that. I still think the TLM 103 is a really great microphone. It does sound a little bit more brighter at times. And, you know, comparing the two and re recording some of my own songs, I just noticed that the TLM 103 can really just sound a little bit more harsh and more airy than it should. Let me know in the comments which microphone you're going to pick up. If you're getting help so far, go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know in the comments which one you think sounds great or better and why. You guys stay safe. Peace.